Well, tonight in small towns, we are visiting one of the smallest communities in Northeast Wisconsin. NBC 26's Eric Kress bringing us to a community that was once bustling, but today, fewer than 200 people call it home. Out on the western edge of Shano County is the village of Eland, a hidden gem of a bedroom community that many have never heard of. You say, where is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have to tell them, hey, we're 60 miles west of Green Bay, we're 30 miles east of Wausau, figure it out, right along Highway 29. When the village was incorporated back in 1888, it was a railroad town, and for decades, it was known as Eland Junction. Every 25 minutes or something, there was a train coming in. That's what it was. It was very, very busy. My dad worked on the railroad for 55 years. He went in and cleaned out the clinkers in the roundhouse when he was 15 years old. During the century of railroad workers and commuters coming in and out of town, Elon's economy was absolutely on the grow. And the 2.2 square miles that make up this village, well, they were busting at the seams. In my youth, I mean, it was booming. There were businesses all over the place. Over the years, they established a lumber yard, several churches, a school, two grocery stores, and even a car dealership. And we had a jail, four hotels, three taverns. This was once a community that was a center for commerce. My parents did all the business in town here. You, you uh, bartered in town. You brought eggs in and stuff like that for your groceries. And so this was our... This was like in my day, it was my hometown. But after decades worth of growth, the economy slowed down. Businesses closed or they weren't rebuilt after tragedy and the railroad too came to an end. You know, I watched the, the big Eland Hotel burn down. Um, I saw some of those businesses close. Then all of a sudden in the 90s, railroad stopped. But what didn't stop in this village of 195 people today is their sense of pride for continuing to live in a community that today consists of one post office, a single church, a tavern, and all this beauty. In fact, we've had comments in newspapers that said they always saw that we were very well kept, but we never saw anybody on the streets. <laughs> I mean, I know there are benefits to living in a big city. Been there, done that, don't like it. I'd rather, I'd rather wake up in the morning and smell fresh air. The town is just about gone from what it was, but you try and keep it up. You try and keep all the memories going. Keeping you connected in the village of Eland, I'm Eric Crest covering small towns for NBC 26.